Welcome to the scenic Gary Moore Stadium at Issaquah High School. Tonight, your Issaquah Eagles take on the O'Day Fighting Irish. Issaquah comes in with their one and run record with, after they trounced Interlake 44-3 for their first win of the year. Last week against Mount Si at home, they lost 28-20 against a very tough Wildcat team. They are under the direction of head coach Chris Bennett. The O'Day Fighting Irish come in with a 2-0 record after two astounding wins. Their first game of the year was a 35-7 win at home against the Gig Harbor Tides. And their game just last week was a 49-7 win on the road against the Ballard Beavers. They are under the direction of the head coach, Monty Kohler. The Issaquah Eagles will be in purple tops and gray, t gray pants tonight, while the O'Day Fighting Irish will be in their maroon, gold, and white uniforms. We're just about set for kickoff here at Gary Moore Stadium. Some key players to watch for the Issaquah Eagles are number five, Jack Gelatley, a running back and defensive back for the Eagles. Number 13, Jack Neary, a six foot three, 205 quarterback. Number 10, senior Tommy Nelson, a six foot two, 109, 90 pound wide receiver. The Issaquah Eagles will receive in the first half here with the O'Day Fighting Irish set to kick off. And we're off. Derek Tyrus Tuyasa Sopo with the return out to the 39 yard line. And the Issaquah Eagles and Jack Near will start right there. Some key players for this Jack Near is Irish foot defense number 71 defensive tackle, Jarius McDade, who holds multiple Division I offers. Jack Floor is another key piece in the Irish. Oh, Fighting Iris second line as he is a Division One linebacker. Issaquah sets up in the shotgun formation, three out wide to the left. Neri looks left, fires and dropped by number 10, Tommy Nelson. Nelson is one of Neri's favorite targets and look for Nelson to have a huge game if the Issaquah Eagles want to win this one. Second down and 10 for the Issaquah Eagles on their own 39, 40 yard line. Jack Neary drops back to pass and complete to number four, Jeff Shipley for about a seven yard gain on the play. Looks like about third and three coming up for the Issaquah Eagles. huddle most high school teams are moving toward this kind of offense these days Gelatly in motion to the right Neary looks for him Gelatly going up right side cuts up field down to the O'Day 38 yard line for an Eagles first down Jack Floor on the tackle for the O'Day fighting Irish first and ten here for the Eagles on the O'Day 38 Shotgun three wide receivers, one to the right for Jack Neary. Jack Neary draws back to pass, looking middle. Deep for Derek Chapman, he catches it for a touchdown. The Eagles strike first here at Gary Moore Stadium for a 6-0 lead. Neary finds Chapman down the middle for a 38 yard touchdown. Neary did a great job of looking off the defensive backs, looked to the left, went back to his center read, and found Derek Chapman wide open across the middle. Jason Schwartz on for the extra point. And the kick is good, but there are flags on the play. Looks like offsides by O'Day. And it is offsides by the O'Day Fighting Irish. The Eagles will decline the penalty and the extra point is good. So the Eagles lead it here seven to zero with 10.57 left in the first quarter. 
excuse me, they will re-kick the extra point. Since play was stopped dead before the play went in motion. Schwartz on here for the extra point. And he is good. Now 7-0, Issaquah up on the O'Day Fighting Irish. 10.57 left in the first quarter. You are watching Issaquah High School Football on ICTV, Channel 21. Welcome back here to Issaquah High School. The Eagles are set to kick off after a four play, one minute, three second touchdown drive to lead, open up the game. Caleb Swain back to receive, but Justice Ross with the return out to the 32 yard line. That is where the O'Day offense will start, led by quarterback Pierre, Lido Pierre Ladors, six foot two, 220 pounds senior. Ladors is a three, three year starter on the oh, Fighting Irish offense and led the team to a run up at state his sophomore year. The doors with the handoff to fullback Jack Floor, who's pounding his legs, keep pushing him out to the 41 yard line of O'Day. Looks like about second down and six for the Fighting Irish. You see the triple option right there, the doors. Pounding with his legs, keeping the drive going for about a four yard gain. Floor is really one of the best linebackers and fullbacks in this state. Here's a pitch to Miles Gaskin, who cuts it upfield for a, looks just shy the first down. Looks like it'll be third and inches for the Fighting Irish at their own 41 yard line. Gaskin is a junior who comes in after a 200 yard performance last week. One of the top juniors in the state. Look for his recruiting to pick up soon. Here's the doors under center with the QB sneak to the right side and he gets the first down for a gain of two or three on the play. Took it over his right guard and pounded it in there for a first down. First and 10 from their own 44 yard line for the O'Day Fighting Irish. The doors back to pass looks deep and caught out of bounds. Number 11, Michael Owens, one of their top wide receivers out at the Issaquah Eagles 23 yard line. Huge pickup on the play. Keegan O'Keefe on the defense for the Eagles just couldn't catch up to Owens. Eyes set for the fighting Irish. Gaskin takes it up the middle for about a three or four yard the gain on the play. Gaskin. Second down and about five for the Fighting Irish.
Here come the Irish. Lined up in a pistol formation. Gaskin behind him. Floor to his left. The doors looks left for Gaskin out in the flat. Who cuts it to the sideline and is pulled down on that exact side by number 32, Cody Lamarck. Looks about third and four for the O'Day Fighting Irish. Eight minutes and 20 seconds left here in the first quarter. Getting two on the play. Here come the Irish, line up in I formation. Lindors hands it off to Gaskin, who bounces out to the left side, cuts up field, has the first down spin move. Juggles it out of bounds at the 10 yard line. First and 10 for the Irish. About a six or seven yard gain on the ground right there. O'Day's game was shortened last week at halftime as due to weather, but they were already up big, and Gaskin was the reason why. Jack Floor takes it up the middle for about a two-yard gain down to the Issaquah seven-yard line. As I was just talking about the O'Day game last week, it was cut short at halftime due to weather, but Gaskin had a huge first half as he ran for over 200 yards. Down by Tim Rice. He's a strong runner and his agility is one of the top in the state. The doors fakes the hand off the floor, pitches to Gaskin to the right side, and Gaskin takes it in for the touchdown. touchdown a seven-yard rush on the play by Gaskin, who received the pitch from the doors. That triple option has worked out so far for the Fighting Irish, and look for them to keep doing that the entire game. Number 17, Robert Garrodin on for the extra point for the Fighting Irish. The extra point is good, and it's all tied up here at Gary Moore Stadium. 7-7. Seven to seven. That drive lasted a little over three minutes and 30 seconds for the Irish who pounded it down the field with Gaskin receiving the majority of the carries. The, if the Eagles want to stop this Irish offense, Gaskin is the key for them. You can't let him run outside, cut back inside. He's one of the quickest players in the state. The Eagles need to figure that one out on the sidelines. O'Day will kick off here with 7 minutes and 17 seconds left in the first quarter. Back deep for the Eagles, Derek Chapman, number 9, and number 6, Chris Eaglin. Number 39, Zachary Oster kicking off for the Irish. Squib kick down to the 30-yard line where number 32, Cody Lamarck picks it up, takes it out to about the Eagles 31-yard line. That is where Jack Neary and the Issaquah Eagle offense will start. We'll see if the Eagles can respond here to that quick Irish drive. It'll be key for them to respond quickly to any Irish drive but especially after they score quickly, just like the Irish did. Again, a shotgun formation for the Eagles. Three wide receivers out left, and Jack Gelatly out right, along with number eight, Tyrus Tuyasopo. Neary draws back to pass. Down the middle, crossing out for Gelatly, who takes it across his 50-yard line. It's OJ territory, going down the sideline, and OJ. The better catches him at the seven yard line. Huge gain on first down for the Issaquah Eagles. A key block on the play by, a wide, by the Eagles wide receiver, which freed up Gelatly and down the left sideline. 
First and 10 for the Eagles on the O'Day eight yard line. Drew Latley uses that speed, his vision to cut left all the way down the seven yard line. And here's Drew Latley with the ball again who gets down to the six yard line. Looks about second and goal at the six for the Eagles. Great find by Neary on that play. Crossing route was greatly ran by Gelatly. He blocked downfield by number 10, Tommy Nelson. Number 20, Caleb Swain for the Fighting Irish just caught Gelatly on that play. Here's the doors. Hands off to Gelatly. Fighting, fighting. Into the end zone for a touchdown. Jack Gelatly on the six yard run. It's a great job of Gelatly there, keeping his legs pounding up the middle. Was sworn by three O'Day tacklers, but he just kept going, got in for the six yard touchdown run. Number 16. Jason Schwartz on for the extra point for the Eagles. The kick is good and Issaquah leads it here 14 to seven. Six minutes and 14 seconds left in the first quarter here at Gary Moore Stadium. You're watching Issaquah High School Football on ICTV Channel 21. Welcome back here to Gary Moore Stadium where the Issaquah Eagles lead the O'Day Fighting Irish 14 to seven. Jack Gelatly capped off a quick four yard, four play drive with a six yard touchdown run. Number 23 deep for the Irish, Faris Proctor returns it out to his own 31 yard line. That is where Pierre Ladors in the O'Day Fighting Irish offense will take yeah, over. Trillatley is one of the most impressive running backs I've seen in the state uh, this summer as well as last year. He just has great vision, great leg drive. It's hard to bring him down. I look for him to go to a small D1 school if he chooses to do so. Here's Pierre Ladors in shotgun formation for the O'Day Fighting Irish. Goes under center now. Hand off to Miles Gaston, but he keeps it on the keeper. 10 yards or nine yard gain out to the left side. Down to the 45 yard line of the Fighting the Irish. Here's second and one for the O'Day Fighting Irish at their own 40 yard, 45 yard line. Two wide receivers out left for Ladors, who lines up in the eye formation. Hands off to Floor, who takes it five yards for the first down. Clock stopped at 5:25. The reset of the chains. First and 10 for the Irish at the 50 yard line. Two back formation for Lenores who swings it out left to Michael Owens who takes it about four yards to the Issaquah 
46 yard line. Straight pass by Kel Oates. Pick up a four. Owes is one of the state's top wide receivers in the 2015 class and I saw significant playing time as a sophomore last season. Looks to be the doors' favorite target early on in this game. Fighting Irish come to the line in an eye formation. The doors pitches it to Gaskin who takes it on the right side looking for a hole. About a three yard gain on the play as the Fighting Irish get down to the Issaquah Eagles 44 yard line. Good for a gain of two. Good for a gain of two for Gaskin in the Fighting Irish. Gaskin's so patient when he runs, looks for that hold, hits the spin move, and gets three yards when the play was blown up in the backfield. That's why he's one of the most coveted juniors out there in the state. Here's the doors, hands off to Gaskin again, eludes two tacklers, still pounding his legs, and tackled from behind by number 17, Keegan O'Keefe but not before Gaskin got out to the Eagles 39 yard line for a first down. A little delay counterplay for the Irish. Gaskin fighting, eludes two tacklers, hits the hole behind his tackle and gets his first down. We come the Irish in an eye formation. First and 10 from the Eagles 39. Lodors hands it off to Floor, who takes it to the left side. Pounding, man, that kid just pounds his legs. Gaining extra yards on the play all the way down to the 34 yard line of the Eagles. Lodors is a big, strong runner and also a great tackler at the linebacker position, but he also has the speed to burn you down the sideline. One of the best players I saw this summer. He may look undersized to many people, but his leg, his leg strength is second to none. And you can see that as he pounds for the first down. Here's the Fighting Irish running up in the I formation. Gasket hits the left side, streaks up the middle, down to, oh, and he's still running. He's up, down to the Eagles' six-yard line. Miles it looked Gaskin. like Gaskin would have been stopped in the backfield right there, but he hit the hole straight up the center for about a 25 yard gain. First and goal for the Irish on there up on the Eagles six yard line. Gaskin with a huge play right there. Become the Irish line up in an eye formation. Lodor snaps it, goes to his right, hands off to Jack Floor, who takes it down to the one or two yard line of the Eagles. A swarm of Issaquah players there on the tackle. Jack Floor on the carry down to the one yard line. Stopped by Sarkozy. Big set for the Irish here. Snap Lodor, takes it to the right side, pounds it in. Is he in for the touchdown? Touchdown Irish. Lodores takes it in from about a yard and a half out for the second score of the game for the Irish. Lodores isn't your typical dual threat quarterback, but in this O'Day offense, look for him to get plenty of carries. As you see there, as he pounds it into the right side, just in for the touchdown. Robert Gardin off for the extra point. The hold is good, and the kick is good. 14 to 14 here, Issaquah. Eagles getting scored on by the Fighting Irish after a quick, quick drive aided by the Miles Gaskin 25 yard run. The doors finishes off at the end of the drive for a one yard QB sneak. One minute, 50 seconds left here in the first quarter. You're watching Issaquah High School Football on ICTV, Channel 21.
Welcome back to Gary Moore Stadium as things are all tied up here at 14. Derek Chapman and Chris Aglin back to return. But the squib kick finds the Eagles player who takes it out to the 35 yard line. Cody Lamarck taking the kickoff. Cody Lamarck with the return on the play. Jack Neary will lead the Eagles offense out here. We'll start at the Eagles 35 yard line. Excuse me, new quarterback in for the Eagles, Cam Humphrey. A sophomore, six foot one, 178 pounder. Humphreys looks left, finds Jalatley, who takes it in the flat, stiff arms and O'Day defender, who and takes it out all the way down to the Eagles' 47-yard line, which is good for a first down on the play. Not sure what's wrong with Neary, but we'll pass along more once we find out. Direct snap to Gelatli, who takes it up the middle down to the 50-yard line. About a three-yard gain on the play. Good for a gain of three yards. Doesn't look like there's an injury to Neary as he's standing on the sideline right by head coach Chris Bennett. But here's Humphreys, takes the snap, looks down the middle. It hits number four, Jeff Shipley, all, for a gain all the way down to the 30-yard line. A 20-yard gain on the play on second down. The play is good for a first down. And the Eagles will take it from the 30-yard line. Eagles pick up 20 yards and a first down. Shotgun formation, three wide receiver to the right. Humphreys hands off to Gelatli, who takes it off the left side and falls to the 28-yard line of O'Day for about a two-yard gain on the play. Gelatli on the carry. Gelatli receiving a heavy dose Cooper, of carries Cooper, here Cooper. early in the game. Look for that as the key as the game goes on as he could wear down a bit. Shotgun formation again here. Humphreys takes the ball, looks left, floating it up for Tommy Nelson, who had the ball in his left hand for a spectacular one-handed catch, but dropped it in the end zone. Would have been a spectacular play by Nelson if he would have held on to that. Neary floated it up there perfectly. Nelson had to adjust, jump, come back over his left shoulder and look like he had it for a second, but just dropped it in the end. Third and eight here for the Eagles. Humphrey is in a shotgun. Three wide receivers to his right. Drops back. Hits Jared Chapman on the right, who go, which, and the ball goes off in his hands. Fourth down and eight coming for the Eagles. Ball was thrown a li little bit too high to Chapman, who just couldn't hold on to it. Looks like the Eagles offense will stay out here on the field. Humphreys looking for a, to the sideline for a play. Gets the play, calling it into his offensive line. Takes the snap, draws back three steps. And is sacked right there on the play by number 74. Dewan Ransaw, the senior, Washington. six foot one, 255 pound lineman on the sack for the Fighting Irish. Irish take over on downs. The Irish will take over on downs at their own 35 yard line. Humphreys never really had a chance there as the Irish got pressure right away. Rolled out left, tried to escape, but just couldn't do it as Ransaw was right there on the play. Four seconds remaining here in the first quarter as the quarter is about to end. Irish in a 
I formation. Own 35 yard line. Lodores takes the snap, hands it off to Gaskin, who takes it up the middle for a 12, 13 yard gain. Gaskin running over defenders on his way to another Irish first down. Gaskin up the middle, four day. But with Pat play, the first quarter ends here. It's all tied up 14-14 at Gary Moore Stadium. The Irish have the ball and are driving. You're watching Issaquah High School Football on ICTV Channel 21. Welcome back to the scenic Gary Moore Stadium as rain starts to fall on the field. The Irish have the ball at their own 48-yard line, first and 10. The Doors takes a snap, fumbled in the backfield. Gaskin looks like he fell back on top of it, but we'll see, and he does. Second down and 11. Loss of one on the play. Actually make that a gain of about six inches. The Doors Looks like he never got a clean hand off to Gaskin in the backfield there as the ball was fumbled, but Gaskin was able to jump back on it. Eye formation here for the Irish. The doors fakes it to his fullback floor and takes it out to the right side. Legs are pounding still. He's still up. Takes it down to the Eagles. 47-yard line for a gain of about four or five on the play. Looks about third and five for the Irish. There's an injury on the field. This is Quad Eagles players down. Looks like Cody Lamarck. Able to get off on his own power. The key Eagles linebacker walks off the field. Third and five here for the Irish. The doors lines up in I formation, hands off to floor who takes it off the right side. Legs are still pounding down to the Eagles 31 yard line for a first down. Great blocking by the Irish offensive line there creating a huge full hole for Jack Floor. Of course, just kept, kept his legs pounding right there. Spun off one tackler, evaded another, and finally taken down by number 10, Tommy Nelson on the play. First and 10 for the Irish on the Eagles 32 yard line. The doors pitches left to Gaskin who cuts it upfield all the way down to about the Eagles 23 yard line. One yard shy of a first down. The pitch play has worked well for the Irish so far. Gaskin's been able to find those holes on the left or right side and been able to take it for about a 10 yard average gain on those plays. The Irish line up in an I formation here. Second and about two. The doors fakes the pitch right, tucks it left, runs all the way down, runs over a tackler, spins out of another tackle down to the Eagles 11 yard line. It's a flag on the end of the play though. Thrown in the area of holding. Referees discussing the penalty here. And it looks like it will go against the Fighting Irish. Official call is an illegal motion by the Fighting Irish, as well as an illegal shift. The last play will not count, and the Irish will move back to about the 29 yard line.
The false start is accepted. On the play, the illegal motion is not. It'll be about second and about seven here for the Fighting Irish. Waiting for the ball to get set, and it is set. The Irish come out in eye formation. Wide receivers on both sides flanking the doors. The door fakes the handoff to his full back floor. Gas pitches to Gaskin who takes it upfield. Cutting it is upended by an Issaquah defender at about the Issaquah 12 or 13 yard line. About a 16 yard gain on the play. Gaskin having a few, huge first half here, finding many holes in the Eagles defense. First and 10 on the 14 yard line for the Irish. The doors comes under center in an eye formation. Hands it off to Jack Floor who takes it for about one yard if that three yards on the play officially the backfield duo of Gaskin and Lenores is proving to be killer here for the Irish Eagles need to find a way to stop them if they wish to stay in this game Lenores under center hands off to Gaskin who takes it down to about the Issaquah eight yard line. Stuffed there on the play by defensive tackle number 77, Shea Ding Felder. Third and about three here for the Irish. I formation for the doors. Takes it, fakes hand off to Gaskin. The defender is there in the backfield but misses him. The doors keep pounding his legs. Takes it down to about the six yard line. Which is about a yard shy of the first down. The doors did a great job of evading number 54, Jacob Peterson in the backfield. Then found a hole and would just not go down. Fourth and less than a yard for the Irish who line up in I formation, two wide receivers flanked to the left. The doors pitches to Gaskin on the left side who runs it in for a touchdown. Miles Gaskin takes the pitch from Pierre Ladores. Six yards into the end zone for the Irish. Gaskin's second rushing touchdown on the day. Puts the Irish up 20 to 14 for right now. Robert Gerardin on to kick the extra point. The hold is good, but it looks like there was motion before the snap. Indeed there was, false start by the Irish. We'll move it back. Back about five yards. Full start on OD. Gaskin is so good at building up momentum on those pitches. And a defender cracking down on him at the goal line couldn't even stop him as he found his way into the end zone for his second touchdown of the day. The hold is good and the extra point is good. O'Day goes up 21 to 14 on the Issaquah Eagles with seven minutes and 27 seconds left in the second quarter. You're watching Issaquah High School Football on ICTV Channel 21.
Welcome back here to Gary Moore Stadium. The Fighting Irish are set to kick off. Number 39, Zachary Oster. Squibs it down the left side, out of bounds. The rain's starting to come down here at Gary Moore Stadium. The turf's getting slippery. That'll be something to watch. The Eagles will start with the ball on their own 35-yard line. Let's see who comes out for quarterback right here for the Eagles. And it's Jack Neary, number 13, back into the game. Ball will be spotted on the 35-yard line. First in time for the Eagles. Two backs flanking. Neary, motion out left, number 21, Ray Littles. Near dumps it off to Jack Gelatly on a screen play. Takes it 11 yards down to the Eagle 46-yard line. Good enough for a first down on the play. No huddle offense here for the Eagles as we have seen all night. Near takes an errant snap. Runs out to his right and is clothesline by number 71, Jarius McDade. The huge six foot two, 313 pound lineman came bearing down on Jack Neary, who couldn't get the throw off. Incomplete pass on the play, and second and 10 for the Eagles here on their own 35 yard, 45 yard line. Near takes the snap here, looks right. Caught by number four, Jeff Shipley for about an eight yard gain on the play. Into O'Day fighting Shipley. Irish territory. It'll be third and two here for the Eagles at the O'Day 46 yard line. Shipley did a great job of hanging on to the ball at the end of that play. Neary takes the snap, hands it off to Gelatly, who is stuffed by Jarius McDade at the line of scrimmage. Gelatly only gets out to the O'Day 45-yard line, not good enough for the first down. The huge 313-pounder there for the Irish. Looks like the Eagles' offense will stay on the field here. Fourth and about one. Shotgun formation, three wide receivers out to the left side. One to the right here for Jack Neary. Neary trying to draw the Fighting Irish off sides, hands it off to Gelatly, who falls to the OJ 44 yard line. Pretty close to a first down, but the spot on the play wasn't beneficial to the Eagles. Official timeout here. Actually a turnover on down. The Irish stopped the Eagles on their own 44 yard line. Gelatly took the ball. Looks like he fell across to about the 30, 30 not, 34, 44, excuse me. But the spot wasn't good enough for the Eagles who turn it over on downs. The doors leads the fighting Irish offense out on the field. In their eye formation. The doors hands it off to Gaskin, who is stuffed in the backfield, but is still up on the field, but dragged down eventually by number 54, Jacob Peterson. Looks like Matt Sarkozy and Shea Dingfielder were also there on the play. A 
About a three yard loss on the play. Second and 14 here for the Eagles. The doors drops back in a shotgun formation, looks right to his tight end, who takes it out to the 50 yard line. Number 86, Alexi Oro there on the catch. Six foot two, 242, senior captain right there. Put his head down and found his way out to the 50 yard line. Third and about six here for the Irish. Who will take a timeout with four minutes and 42 seconds left in the second okay. quarter. Irish Lee here, 21 to 14. You're watching Issaquah High School Football on ICTV, Channel 21. Welcome back here to Issaquah High School where the Irish have the ball on their own 48 yard line, third down here. The doors keeps it himself, pounding his legs all the way out to the Eagles 42 yard line. First down on the play for the Irish. Jacob Peterson on the staff of the Eagles. The O'Day line has been getting a great push all game, opening holes for the doors as well as, as for Jack Floor and Miles Gaskin. First and 10 for the Irish on the Eagles 42 yard line. The doors hands it off to Gaskin, who evades the tackler. He's still on his feet. He takes it down to the 20, 15 and is taken down by number two, Paul O'Neill. Gaskin with a huge run on the play, just will not go down. But there is a flag on the play. Miles Gaskin on the run. Here's the call from the referee. Holding on O'Day, which will bring the huge play back. Holding penalty against O'Day. The holding penalty was called after Gaskin had already ran for the first down though. Looks good for about a 15 yard run by Gaskin. And the Irish will have the ball on the Eagles 27 yard line. First and 10. Irish come to the line in an I formation. The doors fakes a pitch to Gaskin, rolls out to his right side, looking end zone, and dropped. But flag on the play. Flag on the play. Looks like pass interference on the Eagles defense. Number nine, Derek Chapman. Pass intended for number three. Bobiano Sims. Sims was almost able to hold on to it, but in the end, the pass was too low. Irish bailed out by the pass interference call. Irish will get the ball on the Eagles, 14 yard line, first and 10. Okay. 
Three minutes, 41 seconds left here in the second quarter. As Ladores comes to the line, surveys the defense, line gets down, hands off to Gaskin, who is stuffed in the backfield by the Issaquah defensive line. First one on the, there on the play, number 53, Noah Evans for the Eagles defense. Gaskin gets absolutely nowhere for a loss of one. Lodores takes it to the right side, finds a small hole, and gets out to about the 10 yard line of the Eagles. About a four yard rush there for the Fighting Irish QB. Third and about six yards here for the Irish. Lodores comes under center for the I formation. Fakes the hand off the floor, pitches to Gaskin. He's trying to find some room, spins off a tackler down to the nine, to the about the six yard line of the Eagles, but not good enough for a first down. Fourth and about two for the Irish on the Eagles six yard line. Gaskin was able to find no room there after he spun off one Issaquah defender. Fourth and two. Lador's trying to draw the defensive line off sides. Can't do it, looks to the sideline for a play. Back under center. And O'Day has to take a timeout after trying to draw the Eagles defensive line off sides. Irish are unable to do it, but lead it here 21 to 14 with one minute and 49 seconds left in the second quarter. You're watching Issaquah High School Football on ICTV Channel 21. Welcome back to Issaquah High School. The Fighting Irish with the fourth and two on the Eagles six yard line. Motion to the right. The doors takes it in the shotgun. Pounds his way down to the four, three, two, and sneaks into the end zone for a touchdown. touchdown. Pierre Ladores on his six yard run on the QB keeper. It looked like Ladores was going to be stopped at about the three-yard line, but he kept his legs moving and got into the end zone on a six-yard run. Ladores' second touchdown run of the day. Robert Garrett in on here for the extra point. The snap is good, hold is good, and the kick, kick. shimmies off the upright. The kick is no good. The Irish lead it here 27 to 14 with one minute and 43 seconds left in the second quarter. You're watching Issaquah High School Football on ICTV, channel 21. Welcome back here to Issaquah High School. Our day's drive capped by Pierre Ladores. Six yard touchdown run. A squib kick to the left side. Number 52, Matt Sarkowski on the return. The Eagles offense will start on their own 36 yard line. One minute, 39 seconds remaining in the half. Issaquah defense is just not holding up against the fighting Irish rushing attack here. They're going to have to make some halftime adjustments to fix that up. 
Miles Gaskin, the Fighting Irish running backs, just finding too many holes in their defense. Tacklers are not finishing, and that's why the Irish are up 27 to 14. Neary looks left, swing pass to number six, Chris Eaglin, who takes it out to his own 39-yard line for about a three-yard gain on the play. Clock running here, hurry up offense by the Eagles. Neary gets the call in. Three wide, reci wide receivers flanked out to Neary's right, one to his left, takes the snap, drop back. Looks left side, deep pass, but too far intended for senior wide receiver Tommy Nelson. There is a flag on the play. Holding against the Eagles. The Irish will accept the penalty, which moves back the Eagles to their own 27 yard line. Second and about 17 for the Eagles. Neary takes the snap, looks right to number nine, Derek Chapman, who finds a hole on the right sideline and gets out of bounds at his own 40 yard line. Clock stops at 50 seconds, 56 seconds. Those screen passes seem to be working well for the Eagles so far as Gelatly has picked up a first down on one and Derek Chapman just picked up a 10 yard gain on that one. Third and seven for the Eagles here at their own 39 yard line. Neary drops back to pass. The ball comes out as he is sacked on the play and hit by number 57, Dylan Ledbetter. The Irish recover on the play. Jarius McDade on their cover and will take over at the Eagles 24 yard line. Huge hit there by Ledbetter who forced the ball out of Neary's hands and the Irish will have 47 seconds left to score in this half. Issaquah takes a timeout here. 47 seconds left in the half. Irish 27, Eagles 14. You're watching Issaquah High School Football on ICTV, Channel 21. Welcome back to Issaquah High School where the Irish have the ball on the Eagles 23 yard line. First and 10 for the Irish offense with 47 seconds remaining in the half. The doors lines up under seven, drops back, looks right, floats it up and tipped away by 17 on the Eagles defense. Keegan O'Keefe on there, right there on the pass breakup. Michael Lowe's wasn't able to catch that one. Third day's pass intended for Michael Lowe's. Broken up by O'Keefe. Looks like O's had O'Keefe beat right there on the right side, but O'Keefe came back last second, got his right hand in there to knock the ball away from O's. The doors comes to the line. Under center in the I formation. Surveys the defense. Drops back. It's a draw play to Gaskin who takes it over the left side. Cut spins his way down to the 18 yard line. Miles Gaskin on the draw. The Irish take a timeout here with 29 seconds remaining in the half. Take it down by Matt Sarkozy. When we come back, it'll be a third and about Five yards for the Fighting Irish. Irish lead it here, 27 to 14. You're watching Issaquah High School Football on LCTV, Channel 21.
Welcome back here to Gary Moore Stadium. Third down and about five for the Irish. Ladors takes it from under center, drops back, looks down the middle, off his tight end's hands, picked off by the Eagles defense. Number five, Jack Gelatly on the interception. The ball just bounced off Jonathan <laughs> Wells' hands, right into the hands of Gelatly, who dies for the interception as the Eagles take over on their own 10 yard line. 23 seconds remaining here in the half. On the Isabel 10 yard line. First and 10, Eagles. Key stop for the Eagles there to keep them in this game. Only down 13. It looked like the Irish were about to score before half. But that was before Jack Gelatly's interception on his own 10 yard line. Gelatly's played a huge role in this game so far, both on the offensive and defensive side on the, of the ball. Looks like the Eagles will just kneel it down here to run out the clock. And they do as Neary takes a knee. That will be the last play of the half for the Eagles. At the half, this is At halftime, it's the O'Day Fighting Irish 27. It's the Quad Eagles 14. You're watching Issaquah High School Football on ICTV, Channel 21. The Eagles and Irish are on the field, set for kickoff. Number 16, Jason Schwartz. We'll kick it off for the Eagles. Number 28, Caleb Swain, back to return for the Irish. Swain is an explosive 5'9", junior. Look for him to look for him to have a significant return here if he gets the ball. Here comes Shorts on the kickoff. He will squib it. Swain picks it up, takes it to the right side, is dragged down by an Issaquah defender, and that's where the Irish offense will start their drive. We first and 10 on the, their own 29 yard line. Jacob Collins on the stop for Issaquah. Dragged down Swain, who looked like he was going to escape for a second, but just couldn't do it. Ladores leads the offense out for the second half. In their eye formation as they have, as they were mostly in the first half, Ladores hands it off to Gaskin and takes it on the right side, dragging down defenders and is brought down after a five yard play. Looks like second and five for the Irish at their own 34 yard line. Eagles really need to stop here on defense to remain in this game. Only down two possessions. But if the, if the Irish are successful on this drive, it could be down three possessions. Lador's hands off to Floor, who takes it past the first down marker all the way down to his own 45-yard line. It'll be first and 10 for the Irish. Three-headed rushing attack of Lador's Floor. And Miles Gaskin just proving to be too much for the Eagles right now. The Roars takes it from under center. Pitches to Gaskin on the left. Gaskin patiently waiting for a hole. Finds one on the left side. Takes it out for a first down. All the way down to the Eagles 42 yard line. It'll be first and 10 for the Irish right there. Again, that pitch play has been working 
all day for the Irish. Gaskin patiently waiting for holes to open. Holes to open usually finds them, takes it for another first down. I formation here. Wide receivers split out on both sides of the doors. Option gives it to Floor for about a two yard rush. Stopped at the 40 yard line of the Eagles. Big defensive tackle, number 77, Shea Dingfelder, right there on the stop for the Eagles. He's been a force on the Issaquah defensive line so far as he's clogged up a few of the running lanes that the Irish have found. The doors drops back, pressure up the middle, takes it out of the right side, but is eventually brought down by number 84, Mac Nisbet. Nisbet got pressure up the middle to start the play. The doors escaped him, ran out to the left, but was taken down by Nisbet as Nisbet came from behind the play and the doors did not see him. However, there is a flag on the play. Official disgusting call. There is no flag on the play. No flag. The sack by Nisbet will stand and it'll be third down and eight for the Irish on their own on the Issaquah 40 yard line. I formation here for the Irish. The doors drops back. Play action to Gaskin, but then gets it on the screen. Gaskin shoots it up the left hand sideline, but is brought down after a gain of about five at the Issaquah 35 yard line. Will not be good enough for a first down. Fourth and five here for the Irish. Fourth and about three, actually. Clock is running under nine minutes and 30 seconds. Irish offense still out on the field. Go for it, fourth down. The doors trying to draw the defensive line offside. Option to floor, and he keeps it. The doors hops over the defensive line and takes it down to the Issaquah 30 yard line for a first down. Floor has found. Excuse me, Ladores has found success on that QB keeper the entire night. Any hurdles? Ball on Issaquah defenders for a first down. It'll be first and 10 for the Irish on the Issaquah 30 yard line. Ladores drops back, looking right, floats it up there for O's, who runs under it but is unable to. Haul the pass in, which would have resulted in a touchdown. Just off the fingertip of Michael O's. O's has been impressive this thus far, separating from the cornerback on his routes, but just hasn't been able to haul in a couple passes that would have been that would have gone for big yardage. The six foot 158 pound junior is one of the top speedsters in the state for the 2015 class. The doors here in the I formation, pitches it to Gaskin on second down. Gaskin patiently waiting, finds a hole, cuts it upfield for looks just short of a first down. All the way down to the Issaquah 21 yard line. It'll be third in inches for the Irish. Again, that halfback pitch has been just killer for the Irish thus far. Gaskin patiently waiting and finding holes to gash through. The doors lines up under center with two backs behind him. QB sneak, but the, fump, the snap is fumbled. Gaskin picks it up, takes it five yards for a first down. Looked like the ball just shot through Ladores' legs. Miles Gaskin picked it up three yards deep in the backfield and promptly took it about seven yards for a first down. It'll be first and 10 on the Issaquah 15 yard line for the Irish. Ball 
The doors lines up with two backs behind him. Takes the snap. Hands it off to his fullback on the play. About a six yard gain down to the Issaquah nine yard line. Look like Nathan Proctor Jr. on the carry there for the Irish. A tough six yard carry off the option play. Now second and about three or four yards, Ladores takes it from under center. Hands it off to Gaskin who waits patiently for a hole but is stuffed for about a one yard gain. However, there is a flag on the play. Keegan O'Keefe on the stop right there for the Eagles, but the play will not count as there is holding called on the Irish offensive line. The Eagles will accept the penalty and the ball will be spotted all the way back to the Eagles 19 yard line. It'll be second and about 14 for the Irish offense. As the penalty brings it back to the 19 yard line of the Eagles. I formation here for the Irish. Two wide receivers split out left. Gaskin in the backfield behind him. Option play, hands off to Floor, who takes it for about a four yard, five yard gain. Down to the Issaquah 15 yard line. It'll be about third and 10 from that spot on the field for the Irish. The doors gets the call in from the sideline. We'll line up under center with two backs behind him. Takes a snap, shoots it out left to O's, who is wrapped up by an Issaquah defender. Number six, Chris Eaglin on the tackle. Oates was not able to escape from that one. It'll be fourth and eight yards from the Issaquah 13 yard line. Irish special, special teams unit coming out on the field, looking to tack on three extra points here. Number 17, Robert Girardin. The hold is good, kick is up. And the kick is good. Robert Girardin adds on three points to the Irish lead. And O'Day is now up 30 to 14 on the Issaquah Eagles. A quick drive right out of halftime for the Irish all the way down to about the nine yard line before it was stifled by a holding penalty. Irish still were able to get three points out of the drive. Five minutes, 15 seconds left here in the third quarter. 30 to 14 Irish. You're watching Issaquah High School Football on ICTV, Channel 21. Welcome back here to Issaquah High School. O'Day just capped off a drive with their field goal to extend the lead to 16 points. Oster kicks it off to the left, squibs it. Number 52, Matt Sargoski on the return for the Eagles, takes it all the way out to the his own 47 yard line. That's exactly where Jack Neary and the Issaquah offense will start their drive with five minutes and eight seconds remaining in the third quarter. Shotgun formation for the Eagles as has been the norm tonight. Three wide receivers flanked out to Neary's left, one to the right. Neary takes the snap, drops back, looks left, flings it out left to number 10, senior Tommy Nelson, who catches it in front of the first down marker, but then takes it a four extra yards for the Eagle first down. 
Ball spotted all the way down to the 39 yard line of the Irish. It'll be first and 10 right there for the Eagles. Great protection for Neary, who got it off just in time. Neary takes the snap here, hands it off to Jalali, who finds some space on the left-hand side, runs over the A defender for about a seven-yard gain on the play. Jalali is a strong runner. He's got a thick lower body, which helps him finish his runs off strongly. We'll have to step it up here in the second half to get the Eagles back in this game. Neary calling the play at the line. Littles flanking him on the left and Jalatli on the right in the backfield. Jalatli motions out to the right. Neary sees him, but throws incomplete to Derek Chapman as the pressure was getting towards him there. Looks like they tried to set up a screen right there. That's Jalatli was a decoy in the right backfield. Pressure got to Neary, and he wasn't able to get off a clean throw in time as the ball tipped off Chapman's hands. For an incomplete pass. It'll be third and four here for the Eagles. Ball spotted at the Irish 33 yard line. Neary flanked to his left by Gelatly. Gelatly in motion to the right. Neary takes it, sees Gelatly, who catches it, but the ball is popped out after Michael O's lays a big hit on Gelatly. Unable to hold on there for the incomplete pass. It will be fourth and about four for the Eagles here on their own, on the Irish 33 yard line. O's escaped the blocker and pounded Gelatly to free the ball. Gelatly just wasn't able to hold on to that one. Fourth down here, Neary in the backfield, flanked to his left by Gelatly. Looks like a false start by Jack Neary, his foot flitch, flinched backwards, causing the flag to be thrown. That'll move the Eagles back five yards. Looks like a fourth and nine right here for the Eagles. Ball will be spotted on the O'Day 38 yard line. Shotgun formation for the Eagles here. Two wide receivers on each side of the formation. Gelatly flanking Neary's right left. Neary looks right, flings out to Chapman who's streaking down the middle, all the way down to the Irish 21 yard line. Big conversion there on fourth down for the Eagles. First and 10 for the Eagles on the Irish 21 yard line after the 22 yard catch and run by Derek Chapman. Neary takes the ball, Gelatly finding his space up the middle, but is stuffed by Jarius McDade and friends for only about a one yard gain. Looks like there's an injured O'Day player on the field. Official's timeout with 3.39 remaining in the third quarter. The O'Day Fighting Irish lead it 30 to 14. You're watching Issaquah High School Football on ICTV, Channel 21. Welcome back to the action here at Issaquah High School where the O'Day Fighting Irish lead the Issaquah Eagles 30 to 14. The Eagles have a second down and nine in O'Day territory, but it's, and Neary hands it off to Jalali who is stuffed right in the backfield by number 13, Justice Ross. A loss of about three on the play. Looks like it'll be third down in about 13 yards for the Eagles. Ball spotted on the O'Day 24 yard line. Shotgun formation for Neary in the Issaquah offense. Three wide receivers to the left. Neary looks left. Tommy Nelson with the catch there on the play. Looks like the inside screen pass right there. O'Day bottled it up pretty well and held 
Nelson to only about three or four yards. It'll be fourth and 11. Nelson was able to find no room there on the screen pass. A play that has been working for the Eagles offense so far in this game. Neary in shotgun formation, takes it, looks left, looks right, looks middle for Nelson. He has it in! Down at the one yard line! What a throw, what a catch there by Tommy Nelson. Conversion on fourth and ten, but there is a flag on the play. We'll see what it is, but nothing will take away that great throw by Jack Neary. He put it right in the hands of Tommy Nelson. And it'll be called pass interference against the Fighting Irish. The penalty will be declined, and it will be Eagles ball on the one-yard line. First and goal. Neary finding his favorite receiver, Nelson, right there. Hooks up with them in two consecutive plays. Neary takes the snap at the one, hands it to Jalali, who is bottled up in the backfield for a loss of about one. Jarius McDay there, along with number 13, Justice Ross. Miles Gaskin finishing him off there. It'll be second and goal at about the two yard line for the Eagles. Right there on the goal line, Neary under center. Looks like he might have drawn the OJ off defensive line off sides with the hard snap count. And indeed he does, off sides on OJ. It will remain second down as the ball will be moved up half the distance to the goal line. Don't know if the ball can get any closer to the goal line here for the Eagles, Neary under center. Hard count right there. Tried to draw the O'Day defense offsides. Neary back under center. Hands it off to Jalali, who's pounding, pushing, pushing. And it doesn't look like he got in. Inside the one yard line still for the Eagles offense. It'll be third down and one for the Eagles on the O'Day's one yard line. Eye formation for the Eagles. Gelatly in the backfield, Neary under center, tries to draw the defense offside again, doesn't, doesn't do it. Neary looks back, snaps it, hand off to Gelatly again, who is stuck for the third consecutive play O'Day defense coming up big time right there. It'll be fourth and about one. Still on the goal line for the Eagles offense. Seems to me that they would call a QB sneak right here. It's been working for the O'Day offense. Seems like it'd work for the Issaquah offense, but Eagles are adamant of pounding the ball with Jack Gelatly. That will be the end of the third quarter. The O'Day Fighting Irish lead it 30 to 14. And when we come back, it'll be fourth down and goal for the Eagles on there on the Irish one yard line. You're watching Issaquah High School Football on ICTV Channel 21. Welcome back to Gary Moore Stadium where the Issaquah Eagles have the ball on the O'Day Fighting Irish one yard line. Fourth and goal for the Eagles. Neary in a shotgun formation. Ball slapped to Neary. Who looks right? Fade right. Perfect throw for the touchdown. Derek Chapman, his second receiving touchdown of the day. A great zigzag route ran by Derek Chapman there. And Jack Neary places it right in his hands. The Eagles offense will go for two to make it a one possession game. Ball spotted on the three yard line. Neary looking to the sideline for the play.
in shotgun formation. Neary takes the snap, rolls out right, sees Chris Eaglin in the right flat, but throws the ball over his head. The two-point conversion is unsuccessful, and the score is now 30 to 20. O'Day. Eleven fifty-five remaining here in the fourth quarter for the Irish lead at twenty. You're watching Issaquah High School football on ICTV channel twenty-one. Welcome back to Gary Moore Stadium, where the O'Day lead the Eagles 30 to 20. Jason Schwartz set the kickoff here for the Eagles. Squibs it down the middle. Returned by the Irish. Looking up the right sideline. And number 28. Caleb Swain broke loose for a second, but was pushed out of bounds in Issaquah territory. The Fighting Irish will start their drive on the Issaquah 49 yard line after the great return by Caleb Swain. First and 10 here for the Irish who are up by 10. Pierre Ledores leads the Irish oh, offense yeah. out there in the I formation. Jack Floor and Miles Gaskin behind him. Ledores takes the snap, promptly hands it off to Gaskin who is stuffed at the line of scrimmage by a herd of Issaquah defenders. A gain of one if that. It'll be second down and about nine for the uh, O'Day offense. Ball spotted on the Eagles 48 yard line. Eagles crowd starting to liven up here. The doors under center at the I formation option fakes it. Keeper takes it off to the right side and he's loose. Down to the 30, down to the 25, and that's where he will be stopped by an Issaquah defender. Tommy Nelson on the stop right there, but not after Pierre Ledores rumbles down to the 25 yard line for a gain of about 23 yards. Looked like they had Ledores bottled up in the backfield, but he escaped the tackler and hit the hole on the right side for the 23 yard gain. First and 10 on the Eagle 25 for the Irish. Lador's take the snap, pitches it to Gaskin, who's patiently waiting for a hole, flanks it out right side, but it's going nowhere. Oh, but he keeps up. Five yard gain on the play by Gaskin. It'll be second and about four yards for the Irish. I have formation once again for the Irish. Two wide receivers split out right. Michael Lowe's is over there. The doors, keeper, hands it off to Floor though on the option, who's bottled up. One yard gain, if that, as a swarm of Eagle defenders are there to stop him. It'll be third down in about four. Make it five and a loss of one. Injury on the field. Injured Eagle looks like Matt Sarkozy. 
Looks like he's been battling cramps all night. With 9.34 remaining here in the fourth quarter, the O'Day Fighting Irish lead it 30 to 20. You're watching Issaquah High School Football on ICTV, Channel 21. Welcome back to Issaquah High School. Matt Sarkozy, the injured eagle there on the play, helped off the field by the Issaquah trainers. It'll be third and about five here for the Irish offense. Ball is on the Eagle 20 yard line. The door is in the shotgun. Hands it off to Gaskin who takes it around the left side, cuts up field, down the left hand side, and for the touchdown. Miles Gaskin quickly brings it down the left hand side for his third rushing touchdown of the day. Gaskin adding to his huge night here to put the O'Day Fighting Irish up 36 to 20 for the moment. Robert Gerard in on for the extra point for the Irish. Hold looks good in the Gerard in kick. Is true. Extra point is good. And the Irish extend their lead 37 to 20. There's nine minutes, 14 seconds remaining here in the fourth quarter. Irish up big. You're watching Issaquah High School Football on ICTV, Channel 21. Welcome back to Issaquah High School where the Irish have a 17 point lead on the Eagles. That drive capped off by a 20 yard Miles Gaskin run. Back to return it, Derek Chapman for the Eagles. Taking it down the middle, evades two tacklers but is stopped on the 36 yard line. That's where Jack Neary and the Issaquah Eagles offense will take over. Ball will be spotted on the 36 yard line for the Eagles who need to score on this drive if they want any chance at winning this game. Again, a shotgun formation for Neary in the Issaquah offense. Gelatly spread to his right. Three wide receivers to his left. Neary takes the ball, looks left. Down the middle is where he'll throw. Wide open is number 10, Tommy Nelson. With adding to his big day all the way down to the Irish 46 yard line. Nelson, Nelson's having a nice game for the Eagles here tonight. Nearing him, look to have good chemistry. Especially on that last drive with the pass all the way down the one yard line and they hook up here for about a 15 or 20 yard gain. Neary looks left again. But it's, but it's sacked there on the play. Jarius McDade, one of the first O'Day fighting Irish in there. Neary's lost a four. Lost a four on the play. Neary's, Neary was looking out left to Nelson again, but it was an, unable to get him the ball Jerry as the pocket collapsed tackle. straight on him. McDade with his third sack of the night. About his fifth tackle for loss. Neary in the shotgun offense looks left and is smacked down. Guess who? It's Jack Floor. The two-way stud out of O'Day with the sack on Jack Neary. Came straight up the middle unblocked. 
the middle linebacker with the big sack on the play for a loss of six. The ball will now be spotted at the Eagles' own 44-yard line. Looks to be about a third and 20. Irish threatening with the blitz again, but they back off. Neary looks left. Down the middle for Nelson again, who takes it and drags defenders down to the Irish 37-yard line. Tommy Nelson once again, a huge catch on the play. About a 19 or 18-yard gain. It'll be fourth and about two for this Eagles offense. Looks less than two. Looks about fourth and inches on the play. Ball spotted at the left-hand hash mark. Neary in shotgun formation. Gelatly out in motion to the right. And that's where Neary will go. But the throw is behind him. Might look like a fumble, but it's ruled an incomplete pass. There is early pressure on Neary. He threw it right behind Gelatly. And it will be a turnover on downs for the Eagles offense. The Irish will take over on their own 37-yard line. Six minutes, 55 seconds here remaining in the game. Irish up big, 37-20. Irish starter still in the game. Offense comes out in I formation. The door is under center. Oh, looks like a false start by the Irish. The whole right side of the line jumped. Ball will move, be moved back five yards, spotted about the 32, 33 yard line. It'll be first and 15 for the Irish from there. Irish offense comes to the line of scrimmage. I formation, receivers flanking the doors. Pitch to Gaskin in the backfield to the right side. Gaskin hurdles a defender still on his feet, but has run out of bounds at the O'Day 41 yard line. Good for about a nine yard gain on the play. Again, that pitch has just been killer for the O'Day offense. Gaskin's taken at least eight or so yards on each of those plays. Eagles defense not showing too great of a pursuit. Eye formation for the Irish here. Check that two running backs behind the doors who hands it off to, oh, but he keeps it down the left side and no one's gonna catch him. The door is all the way down into the end zone for about a 59 yard rush on the play. Touchdown Irish. Option play worked right there as Ladors faked a handoff to the floor and promptly kept it down the left hand side for a 58 yard touchdown on the play. Option and pitches has killed the Issaquah defense here today. And the doors was untouched on that one. Girardi on for the extra point. Snap is high, but Holder gets it down and the extra point is through. Here at Issaquah High School, it's 44 to 20. O'Day. 6.35 remaining in the game. You're watching Issaquah High School football on ICTV, channel 21.
Welcome back to Issaquah High School. O'Day kicking off here after the 59 yard touchdown run by Pierre the Doors. Girardin on the kickoff. Kicks it deep and left and the kick goes out of bounds. Ball will be spotted at the 35 yard line. That's where the Eagles offense will take over. Down 24 points. Some fans filing out of the stadium here after the huge run by Ladors. Puts the game pretty much out of reach for the Eagles. But nonetheless, Neary leads the offense out on the field. Ball was spotted on the 35, first and 10 from there. Shotgun formation for Neary. Five wide for him, no backs in the backfield. Drops back, looks middle. Pressure on him, shovel pass to Chris Aglin, which is dropped. Neary could really never get in rhythm there as there was pressure right away. Incomplete pass, which will bring it to second and 10 on the Issaquah 35 yard line. Again, a five wide receiver set for the Eagles. Nelson, Neary's favorite target, split out left. Neary looks right, looks deep for number nine, Chapman, and ball is overthrown. Chapman nor Michael O's, the defender, were able to get to the ball. As the ball falls through the incomplete pass, will be third and 10 on Issaquah's 35 yard line once again. 624 remaining here in the game. On an overcast night here at Gary Moore Stadium, rain started to fall during the first half. It's cleared up here in the second half as Neary takes the ball, rolls out left. Looks downfield for number four, Jeff Shipley, who makes a great grab, holds on to the ball with pressure coming from number 23, Devaria Proctor. The pass is good enough for a first down, and the ball will be spotted on the Issaquah 49-yard line. Great body control there by Neary, who squared his shoulders up downfield and was able to, and was able to sling it in to Shipley right there. Near drops back, looks left deep for Nelson, who's running under it, but is pushed over by 22, Ryland Kerr. It'll be called pass interference on the O'Day defense as Nelson was shoved to the ground by the O'Day secondary. That'll move the ball 15 yards downfield all the way to the O'Day 36 yard line. That's where Neary will take the ball and have a first and 10. Shotgun set here for Neary. Gelatly flanked out to his right, and he will hand it off to Gelatly, who takes it down the left side and is pounded by Miles Gaskin. About a one yard gain on the play for Gelatly. It'll be second and about nine on the OJ 35 yard line. Near his shotgun set, drops back, looks right, flings it downfield, passes overthrown and nearly picked off by Michael O's. Pass intended for Derek Chapman, but it was too high. The incompletion will bring it to third and nine at the O'Day 35 yard line. Three wide receivers flanked out to Neary's right. Chalatley in the backfield with Neary. 
Tommy Nelson to Neary's left. Neary takes the ball, steps back, looks right, flings it over to Jarek Chapman, who brings it in for about a seven yard gain, which will make it fourth down and three. Ball spotted at the O'Day 29 yard line. Clock is under five minutes here at Issaquah High School. O'Day up big, 44 to 20. Neary and shotgun drops back. Pressure up the middle, and he's hammered by number 32, Nathan Proctor Jr. The ball falls incomplete, about five yards to Neary's right, and O'Day will take O'Day over on downs. Down. Four minutes and 41 seconds remaining here in the fourth quarter. O'Day leads it 44 to 20 and will take over on downs on their own 29 yard line. You're watching Issaquah High School Football on IC TV channel 21. Welcome back here as O'Day takes over on downs on their own 29 yard line. Ladores pitches it left to Gaskin who finds Barely enough running room, but stays on his feet, and he's still on his feet, and he's going, and he is gone. What a rush by Miles Gaskin on a pitch to the left-hand side. It looked like he was bottled up behind the line, but he promptly oh, takes it 71 yards for the touchdown. Gaskin's fourth rushing touchdown on the day, and man, he's got to have at least 150 yards. The kid has been a beast tonight. And as you can see on that pitch play, you thought he was going nowhere. Pounds his head in, eludes two tacklers, escapes out of a shoestring tackle, stiff arm, keeps going, and then he just explodes for the huge run. Robert Girard in on for the extra point. And the kick is good. The kick makes it 51 to 20, O'Day. Blow out here for the Irish. Four minutes, 17 seconds left remaining in the game. You're watching Issaquah High School Football on ICTV Channel 21. Welcome back to Issaquah High School. O'Day set to kick off after the 71 yard rush by Miles Gaskin. Derek Chapman and Chris Eaglin back to receive for the Eagles. Kick goes into the Eagles end zone for a touchback. The Eagles will bring it out on their own. 20 yard line, first and 10. Miles Gaston has clearly been the player of the game here. Rushing for over 150 yards, four touchdowns on the day. Breaking tackles right and left. Taking pitches from Pierre Ladores upfield for touchdowns. I mean, he's been spectacular. I expect his recruiting to pick up here in the near future. I mean, he's a lot of interest for some Pac-12, small Division I schools. But after this performance, I expect many more schools to be calling Gaskin's house. Timeout here on the field. Four minutes, 17 seconds remaining. Oh, up big, 51 to 20. You're watching Issaquah High School Football on ICTV, Channel 21. Welcome back to Issaquah High School where the backup QB, Connor Humphreys, is in for the Eagles. Looks out left to Ray Littles, who takes it down the left side flank and is crushed out of bounds at the 28-yard line flag on the play excuse me Cam Humphreys is the new QB for the Eagles let's see what the flag is here on the play looks like a hit to the head personal foul on the O'Day defense 15 yard penalty on the play which will bring the ball out to the Eagles 49 yard line
First and 10 for the Eagles. Cam Humphrey in the backfield with Ray Littles to his left. Humphreys takes the snap, looks right. Screen pass set up for Chris Eaglin, who takes it about three yards before he is stuffed by number 40, Jacob Oliver. About a three yard gain on the play. That'll make it, make it a four yard gain. It'll be second and six on the Issaquah 49 yard line. Humphreys back to pass, looks middle. Tommy Nelson with the snag. Across the first down marker, takes it all the way down to the O'Day 44 yard line. Nelson also having a huge game here, over 100 yards of receiving, about eight catches or so. Comes off limp limping, but it's after a gain of about six or seven on the play for a first down. Clock is under three minutes, 30 seconds here. Humphreys drops back, looks to his right. Floats it up there for Derek Chapman who comes down with the catch. What a catch by Derek Chapman all the way down to the O'Day 16 yard line. Great throw by Humphreys to let Chapman go up and get that one. Chapman in. Tommy Nelson have been the two consistent receivers here tonight for the Eagles. Be first and 10, just outside the 15 yard line. Humphreys gets the call, relays it to his offensive line. Ray Littles to his right in the backfield. Humphreys drops back, hands it to Littles who takes it around the left hand side, cuts up field, still on his feet, left hand side, and he's down all the way to the one yard line. 15 yard rush there for Ray Littles. All the way around the left hand side on me. First and goal at the one yard line for the Eagles. Shotgun formation for the offense. Humphreys fumbled snap, recovers, but is sacked and dropped in that down at the six yard line by the O'Day defense. Humphreys. Number 70, Sam Harrington there on the tackle. As you can see, Ray Little stumbles a little bit, keeps his balance. Hit and spun, dropped just short of the goal line at the one. It'll be second down in about five. Second and goal on the five for the Issaquah offense. Cam Humphrey drops back, rolls out to his left and looked like he had Chris Eaglin in the end zone, but pass is broken up by number 23, DeVaris Proctor, DeVarie Proctor. There's a flag on the play. Looks like the penalty will go against the O'Day defense. Holding on the defense, looked like it was in the secondary. That'll reset the downs, make it first down and goal at the three yard line for the Eagles offense. Clock is under two minutes to play here. Humphrey gets the call and lined up in shotgun with Littles to his left and three wide receivers to his right. Flings it out to Littles who's on the left hand side. Who catches it? Holds on, breaks the tackle, gets into the end zone. Ray Littles with a three yard catch from Cam Humphrey. Junior's first grab of the night. His first touchdown grab of the night. Brings it in from three yards out for a touchdown. A nice floater pass by Cam Humphrey. Right on the money, and Littles was able to hold on. Jason Schwartz on here for the extra point. Jeff Shipley, the holder. Looks like O'Day jumped off sides. 
Extra point was good, but the play will be neg negated. Indeed, it was offsides. They will replay the extra point. Schwartz all lined up for the extra point. And it looked like Nine. another offsides by O'Day right there. Can't hold themselves from jumping over the line. He might have been drawn offside, so let's see what's the call. False start by the Eagles offense. Ball will be moved back five yards. And an extra point, which should take about 10 seconds, is taking about a minute. Ball placed at about the six yard line. Make it a 23 or 22 yard attempt for Schwartz. The kick is blocked. Extra point is no good and O'Day leads it here 51 to 26. One minute 53 seconds left in the game. Irish up big. You're watching Issaquah High School Football on ICTV Channel 21. Welcome back to Issaquah High School where the O'Day Fighting Irish lead the Eagles 51 to 26. One minute 53 seconds left in the game. Jason Schwartz set to kick off for the Eagles. Ball is squibbed down the middle. Taken by number 28, Caleb Swain. On his feet still, all the way down to his own 44 yard line. That's where the OJ offense will take over with one minute and 43 seconds remaining. Looks like the backups will be in for the Irish. And indeed they are. Quarterback number 12, Rex Stevens into the game for the Irish. Along with backup running back to Varier Proctor. Proctor gets the ball for one yard loss of the Issaquah defense, stuffs him in the backfield there. The Irish will let the clock run as is now running under one minute and 30 seconds remaining in the game. Rex Stevens goes to the sideline for his play call, runs back into the huddle. Looks like the Irish are just going to kneel it down right here. Clock is under one minute. Stevens does indeed kneel it down. That'll about wrap it up here. Irish are going to win this one 51-26 to behind a huge game from Miles Gaskin. Four rushing touchdowns on the day. Over 175 yards. He came up clutch for the Irish when they needed him. Pierre Lador is also with a great game on the ground. The option seemed to work very well for the Irish as they were able to 
put up 51 points on the scoreboard, which will bring their season total in points scored to 135 points in three games. Sidelines converge here at Gary Moore Stadium. That'll do it for us from ICTV. The other day, Fighting Irish knock off the Sequoia Eagles 51 to 26. I'm Marshall Charrington signing off for ICTV. You have watched Issaquah High School Football on ICTV, Channel 21.